While we're on the subject of Maddie, for most of the season, Maddie seemed absolutely unstoppable. She's won crown after crown at dance competitions around the country. We don't know if it's her magnetic smile or her emotional performances, but it seemed like nobody could take their eyes off of her, especially you, Abby. That child works so hard. Maddie's solo is exquisite. Maddie's choreography and Chloe's choreography were not even in the same stratosphere. I would say Maddie and Chloe go back and forth for the best dancer in the group. I kind of wish Miss Abby gave the same attention that she gave to Maddie to the other girls and I. I guess she's setting us up for another Maddie Chloe showdown. It'll be the same old, same old. You know, Abby will be working with Maddie right before she goes on stage, and it'll be me in the back hallway with my daughter, because that's how it always is. All the focus is on Maddie, and then there's nothing left for anybody else. Right. You can stay here a while in this hotel hard. There's not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the and, same. And the kids know. The kids. It was know. so obvious. You wouldn't yell at her. But it be so lucky to have Chloe as your student because she's a great dancer and everybody knows it except for you. I made her. Oh, I know it. I made her. Were you pregnant for nine months? I made her. You know what? You couldn't have given a shit about her for so many years when I sat out there and I told her what to do because you were too busy looking at everybody else. Oh, who else was I looking at? Oh, let me Everybody. <laughs> Abby does not put any value on any child in her studio except for Maddie, and those kids know it, and it is a shame. So, Christy, does that upset you when you see Chloe say on tape that she wished Abby spent as much time with her as yeah. she spent with Maddie? Yeah, I also wish, I think all the girls wish that Abby talked to them like she speaks to Maddie. 